Hello everyone, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be doing commentary on my Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Masters Edition World Championship Tournament 2006 uh, speedrun. This is my record, and uh, I'm playing an Armed Samurai Binkei Cyberstein OTK deck. Alright, so <laughs> I'm not sure how much I should give about this because I'm not sure if you're coming in from a Yu-Gi-Oh! background, if you're watching this video, or if you're one of my regular viewers and you play a different game. So, uh, uh, suffice it to say, uh, the ways that I win are, there's a, a card called Cyberstein, which lets me bring out a fusion monster at the cost of 5,000 life points. Well, I start with 8,000, so that's fine. And one of those is called Cyber Twin Dragon. Now, it gets to attack twice. So I put a bunch of equip spells, I make it stronger, and, uh, and I get a first turn KO, so that's always good. That's one way. The other way is there's a monster called Armed Samurai Bing K. Now it's only 500 attack, but it gets to attack an additional time for each equip on it. So you put four equip spells and get it to over 3,000 attack, and you know, you're know you very easily wiping opponents out. Both of these can win on the first turn. Uh, now I have three Cyberstein, three Armed Samurai Bing K, two Rota, Reinforcement of the Army, so eight monsters, uh, if we count Rota as monsters, which they kind of are, uh, out of 40 cards. Now I have 27 games to play, so while I'm likely to have a monster in my opener for a given game, having one for all 27, uh, it's not so great. But shoutouts to Raja, uh, talking to me on Discord, uh, he suggested that I try running Reasoning, which I didn't even realize was unlimited in the September 2005 ban list, which is what we use for this run. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that's, uh, it, it makes me jump from 8 to 11 monsters. Uh, and there's no mulligans in this game, so I have to have one in the opener, or pretty close to it. You'll see a few where I don't have one in the opener, but I, I take a draw or two. Uh, reasoning, as you can see already, it's, it's working wonders. Um, so if I had thought about it, I would have played Rota here to try to get another Armed Samurai out so that I would be much more likely to find Cyberstein. I'm still likely to find Cyberstein here, but it makes it more likely. Uh, it does use up some time, though. Now, this is a problem with reasoning. It is a slow card to resolve sometimes, like it, it was just then. Every time you see it flip uh, a card from the deck to the discard pile, it's something like two seconds. So it, some, it can add up, unfortunately. So getting Cyber in Dragon because it's in defense position. I play the Mega Morph first, and that was not the right... Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. There's another game where there's a uh, an MST that punishes me for that. But, uh, yeah, we, uh... Oh, good times. Good times. And there's Armed Samurai just in case I need the extra attack. Uh, but, as it turns out, nope, it only had 300 defense, Cataville Loman. So, I, I used up time, but it made sense. Um, Yay! Good times! Now on to Skull Serpent. Uh, my favorite joke card in the game. Ba back when it was a joke card, they took the joke seriously enough that they started making support for it. And some of that support is in the game, so ta-da! Um, so weaknesses of any deck like this. Uh, there are consistent decks in Yu-Gi-Oh, but you're not going to see consistent decks or consistent in the sense that you never need to mulligan in a run like this because those also tend to be slow decks. We're trying to power out a first, maybe second turn KO every single game, 27 games in a row. So that's not that's not easy. Uh, I've been inspired by Raja's list, and I will say this is the splits. Ignore those splits. Those are the splits for my second submitted run, uh, which was a casual run with something like 10 losses. So. Don't, don't take those splits, they don't mean anything. <laughs> I, I've had a better tier 1 split even than what I'm about to get now. Um, but it is late here, and I did this late, and uh, I'm tired, and I was tired when I did this run, and um, yeah. So, uh, oh, why am I doing commentary like this instead of during the run like I had been doing? Well, once I'm trying, well, for two reasons. One, it's easier to focus when I don't have to talk. Two, when you're grinding, it can get really tough to keep having genuine reactions, like, or humor or whatever for the entire time. So it's just easier uh, for me to do this. Um, like I'm being really humorous right now, oh my god, I'm so tired. Okay, so Water Pond, shout out to Water Pond for uh, helping Yugi out in the anime. Helping Yugi out. 
Uh, wait a minute, no, 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 wait, it was a Karibo that he accidentally summoned. That's right. Well, I, it's accidentally in the Abridge series. I don't know if it was accident. whatever, doesn't matter. All right, so, uh, yeah, this is the first instance of didn't have a monster, kept anyway. Partially because of Upstart, I'm going to draw again. I found Reasoning. That counts. That counts as a monster. And without Reasoning, Raja, without that suggestion, the run died there. Uh, because that would have been a Mystic Tomato. Okay, so it didn't, it wouldn't have died necessarily, but uh, it's not great. So, Arm Samurai. Cool. And now we can go Giant Trunade and wipe the field. And that looks like it's lethal. Yeah, that, that is lethal, indeed. So this will be 3,200 if I play this correctly, because two mask and a stim pack. Shouts to stim pack. You know how if you play Magic, because that's what most of my viewers are playing, if you play Magic the Gathering, you know how burn is lightning bolts and then a bunch of bad lightning bolts? Well, this deck is Axe of Despair and a bunch of bad Axe of Despair. And, uh, yeah. So there we go. There's, uh, there's bad Axe of Despair. <laughs> Again. Alright. Woo! Shadows to Water Pond. Okay, cool. So now we go to White Magician Pikuru and Maximum Cuteness. Before uh, Medulce's were a thing, this was the, the Diabetes card. The Diabetes deck. Diabetes. I'm Wilford Brimley. Having some water instead. I want to get Diabetes. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, if you see that little graphical glitch at the bottom of the screen, that's my capture card. If you've been following the channel for a while, you've seen that on a lot of my videos. Um, that's just, as far as I'm aware, that's the video connection cable. Okay, so there's a problem here. I'm at 8,000, I'm about to take 3,100, and that'll put me at 4,900, which is low enough that Cyberstein would not get the job done. Now, here's another instance of not keeping a monster. Or not keep. There's Armed Samurai, though, so I got really lucky. And, whoa! OBS, you better get moving. You better start up again. I swear. Seriously. Okay, so just in case. So Armed Samurai, uh, I play the Giant True Nade first. Armed Samurai, suited up with a bunch. I think I put all five on it. And then I attack Pikuru first, and then Gemini Elf. OBS, I hate you so much. It's not... It's my computer. It's not OBS. OBS is fine, but my computer is not very powerful. So it keeps doing stuff like this. Come on, please. Okay. Yeah, so I played all five of them. Called it. Woo! Yay! It's like I did the run. All right. And as soon as you'd like to start up again, please, anytime, any day, anywhere, anyhow, any who. Okay, so there's... I uh, hit Pikuru first. Here's the Gemini Elf getting hit. And then, spoiler alert, I'm just going to keep attacking uh, until they're, until they're Dunskies. Here's the last attack, and it started up again. Okay, well, at least that one kind of wrote itself. Um, it was pretty clear. Uh, if you know what those cards do, you knew how that was going to go. Okay, so Battery Man. Yay! Good times. Supercharge. Alright, so Fine Hand. Uh, it's actually a little too monster heavy, but if you're going to be monster heavy, better to have Cyberstein than Armed Samurai. So we set, um, protect our life total a little bit. Uh, it gives us a chance to draw another card. Yay! Woo! All right, we'll see what back row comes down. If it's anything more than just one card, MST just has to go blind. Um, and, lo and, and lo and behold, that's exactly what's going on. So I note reinforcements of the army. I can get uh, Armed Samurai, and then I have two equip spells. I have United We Stand and Axe of Despair, which are 800 and 1,000 respectively. Uh, but I just wasted time because I didn't actually play the Armed Samurai, but I played Reinforcements. Uh, so, yeah, that was just a time loss of however many seconds. Uh, smooth. Smooth. I was tired. I'm still tired. Look at this. Yeah, I'm, I'm still tired. Uh, yeah, so Axe of Despair. This is a uh, humongous. This is Big Chungus over here. Big Chungus. And notice what I didn't play. MST. I didn't play Mystical Space Typhoon. I'm a madman. I'm a mad lad. I guess it made up for some of the uh, the time loss from Rota, but I uh, still should have done that for safety. You never know when a Sakuretsu armor or something is coming. I hate this guy. Look at that. Okay, cool. So, uh, earlier when I was grinding, 
uh, about to say today, but it's after midnight, so yesterday, the, whatever. Uh, I actually lost a run to uh, play to Cyberstein in defense, and then uh, they go pot of greed, ground collapse, ground collapse. Well, I, I can only use the one monster zone, and it's the one that already has a monster, so I can't special summon. Uh, and I didn't have a giant true nade or a heavy storm or even an MST, so that was the run. That was fun. <laughs> that was a uh, spatial collapse, whatever that is. Like I don't, I still don't know what that card does. And uh, yeah, I just played as if it doesn't do anything because apparently maybe it doesn't. Uh, still should have played the true nade first, of course, as you do, as you're supposed to do. Better late than never. You know, if that had been a bottomless trap hole, I would have been in trouble. Uh, but I'm tired, so I'm just getting stupid lucky, I guess. Alright, cool, so, uh, yay, Cyber Twin Dragon, first attack. Uh, and because we're at such a low life total, Megamorph is not going to cut its attack, we're still going to keep the double attack. So Megamorph is, as long as your life total is lower, double its original attack, as long as your life total is higher, have it. Uh, remember, Cyberstein makes us pay 5,000, this big chunk in order to get it out in the first place, so we're probably in okay shape. Uh, it is possible, though, it can mess you up. They start at 8,000, if they don't play a monster, you get a uh, Cyber Twin Megamorph at 5,600, and then when you hit them, they're at 2,400, and if you didn't have any other equips, you're in trouble, uh, because now you get you cut its attack in half, and uh, that means 1,400. So 1,400 plus Cyberstein is 2,100, so that means you're going to be a little bit shy. But we have other equips in the deck, and... Ah, uh, whatever. I'm tired enough, I'm delirious. So, there's an armed samurai doing its thing. Uh, you know what? Let's play a mask and a nuzzler. And we can do the math on that. That's 3,200. Yay, with four attacks! So, first attack, as long as it's not like a night assailant or something, we're fine. A man-eater bug, we're fine. Um, yeah, and it's Sengen, so doesn't matter. If I give them another turn, it really matters, because there's a DD Warrior Lady, but it doesn't matter, so... because they're not getting another turn. Shoutouts to OTKs. This deck is dumb, in the best way possible. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, Death Frog. Frog warning. Uh, this one is, uh, I don't, I think this one goes pretty, pretty by the book. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look. Okay, so, no monsters, so, uh, but there's a monster, there's reinforcements to the army, so that's, that's an armed samurai. I'm playing it now so that I can deck thin a little bit, so that I'm more likely to find some gas going, you know, going from here. I only need one monster anyway, so the slightly higher chance that I'll find a redundant copy, not relevant. Uh, so there's Umi, or Umi, Umi Ruka. There's Tribe Infecting Virus, which is pretty bad when you have monsters out already, but when you don't, eh, oh well. So um, Umi Ruka is a 500 extra attack for water types. Uh, it might do something against fire types, I don't remember. I think it does, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter, because you're, all of mine are dark, and there's Mask, and there's Stem Pack, and there's a Mage Power coming down in just a second. Uh, there's a true nade because <laughs> it's a very technical term. So 3,700, uh, and for some reason, I'm thinking that the extra 900 matters here. 900 because 400 from Big Bang Shot and 500 from Mage Power. I don't actually think it sped the clock up, though. I think it still ends up say, taking the same number of attacks, which is three. So if that's the case, I just lost time. Um, so yeah, woo, good times, good times. Um, okay, but better to overshoot than undershoot, because if you accidentally give them another turn, that uh, will waste a lot more time. So here's Water Dragon, the Elixir deck. Um, yeah, what is there to say? So again, shoutouts to Raja, this, this run would not exist without your suggestion, so you are, you are the man, oh yeah, oh yeah, so a Legendary Ocean, so it's 2,450... Uh, with no tributes. Uh, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty cool, I hear. Uh, so we're doing Heavy Storm first. We can just a Mite, uh, just a smidgen, into Arm Samurai. Uh, yeah, so there's Mask, and uh, there's Nuzzler. 
And you may be thinking, well, wait a minute, that's not lethal yet. And you are correct. And I realize this, and I go for broke. Uh, they, <laughs> the opponent is kind of dumb, so they declare that I can't get a level 6 off of this. Yeah, reasoning, the way it works is that uh, I play it, and then they name a monster level. And if they hit, if I reveal cards until I hit a monster of that level, they just all go to the discard. But if it's another number, then that one gets special summoned, and the rest go to my discard. So there's Cyberstein. They said six. Cyberstein is clearly not six. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that the way that reasoning works in this, they don't have like perfect information about your deck or anything. They just throw out numbers like that. Uh, although, as best I remember, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Now, granted, I'm tired, so maybe I'm just forgetting. Oh, there's a, a MST. I have to hold B to not trigger MST there, um, which I'll do here in a bit. Um, let's see. I, I'm glad that they don't just choose from levels that are in your deck. They don't. It doesn't read your mind. It doesn't read your deck like that. So cool. That's uh, that's pretty neat. And it looks like a huge. Uh, save in time, but it's not as big as it looks, because again, that's my last submitted run. Uh, I haven't gone through and saved until I had a submitted run, so uh, yeah, good times. So here we have, um, yeah, so there's Reasoning and Rota, so we play Rota first, and even if I play Reasoning after this, it makes it more likely I'll hit Cyberstein. Um, yeah, so we're doing Upstart, Drawing a card, getting a Mega Morph, and now we really would like Cyberstein. But we're going to keep it going. We're going to pass. Cyberstein, tw uh, Cyber Twin, Dragon, Mega Morph. Pretty good. So there's Magical Mallet. There's your Mulligan in this game. Pot of Greed. Nobody knows what Pot of Greed does. Nobody knows. It's not like they explain it every single time they play that card in the anime. I, I, or pretty close to every time. I don't know if it's literally, but pretty darn close. All right, so there's Bing K doing its thing, doing his thing. Shout out to Bing K. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play Megamorph so that we get the extra attack. It's actually going to buff for the first attack, but after that, it's gonna make uh, Arm Samurai weaker. But again, the extra attack makes up for it more than makes up for it. So there's United We Stand. So 800. Yeah, that's 2,900 with five attacks. Granted, only one will be at that strength, but that's okay, because it goes from getting a 500 point buff to a 250 nerf and 4 extra attacks. So we're okay. We'll still have enough. We'll make it. We'll get there. Somehow. Some way, somehow. While this one's riding itself, let me turn into a camel really quickly. Okay, Vampire Genesis. This one, I think, gives me some trouble. Um, not I think, it does give me some trouble. Uh, this is one of the Pyramid Turtle Duelist, and that's that's not a card that my deck tends to like to see. Not usually. Uh, but, sometimes the opponent is dumb enough that if you just set a monster, they'll play Pyramid Turtle in face-up attack position. Just no fear. At all. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> just, just like that. Alright. Now I've been playing this, I have not been playing this long enough to have the contents of every deck memorized, so I don't know all of the targets I can get, but it's called Vampire Genesis. You know it's going to have the, vamp the uh, tribute vampires. That's kind of their thing. So uh, we're just not going to let them get a chance at all. Now uh, what am I playing it on? I'm playing it on their monster, because if I play Giant Trunade here, it gets banished and then its effect doesn't trigger. So yay! Woo! Alright. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life, folks. Now, if you're thinking, wait a minute, you just equipped a Megamorph. It's 1,900 now, but it's about to be 1,650. You are right. I am not smart. <laughs> um, apparently, anyway, I am not smart. Because if they have almost any other monster, like Pyramid Turtle, no, but if they have what is it, uh, regenerating zombie or something like that in their hand, then I just lose here. But, uh, turns out they don't. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so, I was just an idiot there, and it turned out it, it paid off. I guess. So, uh, there's another big bang shot. We'll just do it just to make sure we're safe, just to make sure that we're sure that we're sure that we have enough uh, to do it in one attack as best we can. 
And uh, lo and behold, it's a magician of faith. Because when you think vampire genesis, you think magician of faith. I mean, yeah, I've played enough goats. Everything has a pot of greed in it, so that's fair. That's more than fair. This is not goats format. This is the format after goats format, so we don't have any shenanigans like delinquent duo or anything stupid like that. As much as I like those broken cards, we don't have them. It's for the better. It's way for the better. <laughs> Uh, but this is Cyberstein format, so uh, when Cyberstein kind of took over just a lot. So there's Blazing Impachi. Uh, just gonna blow up my dude. Doesn't do a thing. That's cool. Back when I ran Mystic Tomato, Ristic Tomato, that uh, that, that would have gotten another Cyberstein. But uh, no, we're good. We're fine. Well, actually, in, on this board, it probably would have gotten Ben K. Okay, so we found our giant Trunade. Shouts to that. Digging for the Trunade, and we got there. So now we're just set to go. Uh, we just have to get Cyber Twin, put Megamorph on it, and then we're, and we're good. So, shoutouts to uh, Raja for reminding me that you only need to have Megamorph. You don't need to have anything else if their attack is below a certain point. Now, it's uh, 5,600 uh, for the first two... 5,600 for the second. Uh, so, that's 11,200. So, anything over... Anything under, what, 3,200, you can one-hit KO them, assuming they only have one monster and it's in attack position. So pretty much all the time. And that's another reason to go first. You can set a monster, and they're more likely to put a monster in face-up attack position to hit your monster, even if that's normally a bad idea. Like, you play against a normal person, you're probably not putting Sangin in uh, face-up attack position and hitting your face down. Probably not. But in this... They do stuff like that. I know there's Gaga Gigo? Gaga Gigo? Gaga Gigo. I think they're all supposed to be hard G's, right? I don't know, whatever. Gaga Gigo. Shoutouts to Evangeline's Mario Snuggie. That's what that's what this guy is. <laughs> um, it, there's a CRT under it, and this is probably better to look at than the CRT. I would think. Alright, so getting Cyber Twin again, and you're noticing it's usually Cyber Twin. It has the most damage that it can output, especially with equips, because an equip card basically doubles all of the uh, the damage that they would do. Because you get two attacks. Ta-da! There'll be some instances when I need the piercing. I thought, OB oh, don't you slow down on me, OBS. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Alright, call. Uh, yeah, so it looks pretty close. You're going to replay. You're going to go and hit it again. Uh, and lo and behold, Cyberstein saves the day. Shoutouts to Cyberstein, the truest of the true. Shoutouts to Cyberstein. Alright, yeah, yeah it ban it's banned for those 700 attack points. Uh, Helios Duo Megiste, I guess. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship OTK. <laughs> Alright. So we have a reasoning, so we have a monster. Uh, we're just gonna pass though. Itchy nose is itchy. I'm gonna have to trim this at some point. Probably shouldn't shave the whole thing off because Evangeline really loves it. She loves doing this and this and this. Yeah, she's she's great. Just a lot, only a lot. So now we're gonna go into reasoning. Uh, first, heavy storm. That makes too much sense. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I, back then, was not as tired as I am now. <laughs> Alright, so, reasoning, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's uh, about two seconds each time. That's uh, it, it, it's starting to add up. It's really starting to add up now. This is a long streak. Uh, don't quote me on this, but that felt like the longest streak in the run. Okay, now, that said... We're going to activate it, we have a Megamorph, we're good to go. DD Survivor does not care. If that had been a Warrior Lady, for instance, we'd be in trouble. Uh, actually, no, we, we wouldn't be, because we could just do Cyber... Uh, we could do Blue Eyes Ultimate, and just power it up with Megamorph and, uh, and Axe, and we'd be good. Nothing like Axe. We didn't even need the Axe, we could do it with a Horn. That's the one of Horn. Alright, so there's the next split. Alright, and uh, this is the tier where things don't go <laughs> anywhere near... They're already going kind of bad, my movement's been pfft at this point, but uh, this is the tier where it really starts to show my, my sloppiness. Uh, 
All right, so we top decked our monster, but we just let it pass. We just pass it right along. Uh, goblin attack force. Now, normally this is a kind of an annoying monster. It does 2,300 to you, so a pretty hefty bit. And then it turns itself to defense position, so you can't even damage it back. Yeah, unless you have piercing. Well, low, we have pi uh, we have piercing. And, uh, well, who needs upstart goblin? Let's just do it now. Cannot select level 6. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, well, spoiler alert, we're good. No level 6 monsters in this deck. None whatsoever. Alright, so Armed Samurai. Cool, cool, cool. Play the Giant Trunade. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. Or the MST. That actually would have made more sense, I suppose. Alright, so Upstart. We are playing Upstart after all, and it, it paid off. Uh, it looks like it didn't because I gave my opponent a thousand but gained 700, but I actually gained, what is this, 2,800 off of that, so uh, it definitely paid off. Uh, and I don't even have to worry about defense because piercing and its defense is zero. So, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're okay. Uh, I hear we're alright. Also, Ben K's defense is zero now, too, because of Mask of Brutality. Not that it matters. <laughs> alright. Well, cool. And... Dos mas? Uno mas. And there we go. That's Guilford. So... Guilford was a little sloppy, but it gets it gets worse. Trust me, it gets worse. So here's Dark Eradicator Warlock, the mage's successor. You're stronger than Dark Magician. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Nobody is stronger than Dark Magician. In the anime, it had, like, hidden text on it, where it was actually an effect monster, I think. I'm pretty sure. All right, so we just pass it right along. Yeah. Yeah, Yugi and to be fair, basically the entire cast kind of cheated on the effects of most of their <laughs> most of their stuff. Just maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, so cool, passing right along. Yay, blind MST. All right, and we're just gonna do the first one, and lo and behold, it was a call of the haunted. So that. Uh, mattered actually. Kind of, I, I could still beat Call of the Haunted if I knew that it happened to be there, but I didn't. So um, I, I probably would have put enough to get through not counting Call of the Haunted, and then I'd be in trouble. So right here, it's gaining 1,600. It, ignore the spell counters. They just waste time. They they can't do that on my turn, so it just wastes time. There's the stim pack, which should have been mask probably, but here comes mask anyway. Now this. This is uh, 6,100. This is super lethal. Uh, yeah, super lethal. So 4,200. If there had been a call, they'd have gotten it back. I'd deal another 4,200. And, you know, uh, so I, I overpaid anyway. Yay. Yay. Guardian Exodi. So, yeah, one of the tricks to this deck is quickly trying to do that combat math in your head. And when it's dark 30, <laughs> when it's kind of late, that's, uh, that's not always easy to do. Alright. So, yay, I'll be going first. Woo! Alright. So, first, just set it, and then pass. Because we're trying to go on the Cyberstein plan this time around. When you only have one equip in your hand, I probably should have played Pot to try to get a better idea, because if I go Pot into two equip spells, maybe I do Armed Samurai instead. I, I set the Cyberstein. But, lo and behold, that's not what would have happened. So, Giant Trunade first. Uh, Pot of Greed. What does Pot of Greed do? It allows me to draw two cards from my deck. Alright, cool. Cyberstein. Yay, OBS. Yeah. Not exactly rolling around at the speed of sound. Okay, you want to see the jankiest play? You will not believe your eyes. This is going to be the stupidest thing you've ever seen in your life. And it works. Spoiler alert, it works. Okay, so I'm gonna flip summon Arm Samurai Ben K, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Reasoning. I'm gonna get another monster out. They select level four, so if they hit, a, if they hit an, if I hit an Arm Samurai, I'm in trouble. I don't get it. But I hit a Cyberstein. Now I don't know what that face down is, but I did that so that I might have a little bit more. Oh yeah, I was so nervous with that. I didn't even go to battle first. Like, look at, look at this. The the fact that that worked jostled me. So, okay, so that's good. So we get another attack. 
I, I was trying to make sure I had enough attack to definitely get through, and uh, yeah, lo and behold, 500, 700, 700, I, I needed to do that. I needed to hit a Cyberstein in order to not give them another turn. That was so janky. I, I, <laughs> it's, it should not have worked. Uh, speaking of should not have worked, here's the next one. This is uh, gold. And uh, yeah, this guy, I'm, great, I'm grateful that Grateful Charity is not in this format because wow, Dark World and Graceful Charity. No, not even once. All right, so you look at my hand, no monsters. And by no monsters, I mean including Rhoda or Reasoning, just none. All right, so they're gonna get that first. I'm gonna get to draw a card, cool. Still no monster, so I'm gonna pass it right along. And uh, yeah, so if they get to play a monster here, they do. They get to play a nice little vanilla monster, or uh, back in the day, like in high school, I think we called them banana monsters. Uh, banana and oranges or something like that. Yeah, so I don't have enough for Cyberstein, and uh, yeah, I didn't draw, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reset here. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> Skip right back to where I was. Yeah, so that was something like a 50 second time loss. That was that was bad, uh, folks. That's why you reset when you see you don't have a monster. Uh, immediately you reset. Uh, this time we have two. Well, well we have three. <laughs> We have four, actually. We have two Rotas and two Reasonings. This is, yeah, we could flood the field. That's not. That's dumb. That's so dumb. Now, you can play another Rota and then do Reasoning. Uh, and I will do that next turn, apparently. Cool. Yay. That makes it really likely. Uh, three quarters of the time, I'll hit a Cyberstein, unless I draw a Cyberstein here. Or if I draw an Armed Samurai, I'm guaranteed. Well, there's a Cyberstein. So, uh, yeah, so now I have a two and three chance, but... I don't need to play Reasoning anymore. I have Cyberstein. So there's Dark World Lightning, blows it up. Uh, they had to discard Magician of Faith, so I'm, I'm okay with that. I am A-OK -okay with that. Okay, so uh, Cyberstein doing its thing, activating its effect, going and getting. Da -da -da -da. This time we're getting Cyber End Dragon because Piercing is a face down. All right. So cool, my life total's way, way lower. It's a third of yours. So uh, there's MST, and I got punished. I got punished. If I play the axe first, I mean, I still wouldn't have had lethal because they MST the axe. Then I have Mega Morph and uh, and hit for a bunch, but still not 9,000. So I actually needed this to be a zero defense monster and for both in the war. Turns out, eh, that's 500. But trigger, they go and get brawn, brawn. I can't roll my arc. <laughs> yeah, can you tell? All right, so uh, Cyberstein putting in some work there. Sometimes it's faster not to attack with Cyberstein and just hope that your big monster gets there, uh, but it, it's safer to attack with Cyberstein. So Giant Trunade first. That was a that was a good top deck. Cool. I have to put the axe back on. Well, I don't have to put the axe back on, but I'm putting the axe back on just for safety. Like, I think I know what it is, I'm not sure, just to be safe. Here we go, so it was 1,500. Turns out, I needed the axe. Well, I need to put the axe on something, because, ta-da! Now Cyberstein, once again, the, uh, the OG, once again. Yeah, Cyberstein getting there. Elemental hero, Eric Schieler. Close enough. Uh, we're going with that. Elemental, E-H-E. Elemental hero, E Shrieker. <laughs> no. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Alright, passing right along. Uh, so we have Big Bang Shot Giant Trune. We have the combo. Uh, do we need to play the combo? Uh, spoiler alert, no. But they have Rhoda into Clayman. Shoutouts to E Heroes. They're all warriors. Well, at least back then. I, I think they still are, but I wouldn't swear by it. So cool. Yay. Mad Ball Man, the Mad Lad. Oh, the fusions were so crazy back in the day. They were so crazy. Alright, True Nade first. Ah, we're just gonna play a little bit more quickly, I think, and just do Mask, Mask, Axe, and call it a day. Mask, Mask, Axe. Or Mask, Axe, Mask? Something like that. Yeah, there we go. 
So this is 3,500, and they have no back row. We win. GG. GG, no re. No, seriously, no re. I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> Alright. So yay! Woo! This and one more attack, and we'll be there. So how is your day, everybody? I'm fine. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Scratch every spot on my back, thank goodness. <sighs> so let's see. Let's see. We have Armed Samurai and four equips. Five equips. That's pretty good. We're gonna pass. <laughs> uh, weaknesses to this hand. Face down. Kind of. Kind of. If the face down happens to be like a DD warrior lady or something. Uh, yay! Alright, so Protector of the Sanctuary. I think that's the one that makes it where we can't draw, except in our draw, our draw phase. But uh, I have no Pot of Greed and no Upstart Goblin, so we're, we're okay. We're okay. Alright. Arms Shamurai. Doing its thing. Shamurai. Samurai Jack. Alright, so that's what happens. I got punished for uh, starting off with the strongest one. Starting off with Axe. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do it again. Do it again! Do it again! He's already dead! <laughs> Wait, soon enough, anyway. Alright, so we use L to get over to Mask really quickly. A little more quickly. Uh, yeah, and then we just hit it a bunch. You know, that's... that's. I think you've seen the pattern. I think you've seen how this deck does its thing. We just hit it a bunch. Alright. So yay! Optimal. Super optimal. <sighs> okay. So hey, we win. Woo! Next is Horus. Yay! Alright. Coup. Coup. Going right back into it. Let's see. Yeah, Horus gets to do some shenanigans in this one, I think. The uh, the level up card. Oh yeah, so I accidentally tapped A because I missed who was on the play. Uh, I was tapping A because if I'm on the play, I just draw the card a little more quickly. But I'm tired. I was tired. I am tired. I will be tired. There we go. So now, uh, don't you forget, don't you forget, there's MST. Hey, we got there. We got there, folks. Uh, MST blows up. MST. Okay, whatever. It, it actually might matter because of the axe here. Um, shout us to axe. Shout us to the Pikachu main in Smash Bros. That's the axe we all know and love. Alright, so I obviously don't have lethal here, but we're going to get it as big as we can, giggity. And, uh, and go to town. So, that's 3,800 for the first, and then for the second. We're just going to attack with Cyberstein first, because we're going to end up doing it with both. And uh, it's just a little faster. All right. Yeah, if your money was on, I play reinforcements of the army to get the third armed samurai in my hand. You are sadly mistaken. No, thankfully you are mistaken. Uh, it's not what I need to do. Am I gonna play the pot here? Uh, I believe I. Yeah. Okay. So why? That is a. No, no, I don't. Okay. Good. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. DD Warrior Lady banished it. And. Uh, yeah, say no. Just say no, kids. Just say no. Say no to Act of Despair. Uh, just say no. Alright, cool. So, on to main phase two. I'd like to do something else. Uh, like, put something in face down defense position, and then pass it right along. Alright, so if I had played the Rota there, uh, and then Pot of. Well, no, I wouldn't have drawn Pot of Greed, in all likelihood. I mean. You know. You know. Yeah. Alright, cool. Impachi does its thing. And uh, Cyberstein doesn't like that. Can't do another Cyberstein, so I needed to draw another equip spell. Um, so I had the stem pack that puts Armed Samurai at 1,200. Any other equip spell there makes it able to go over the Impachi. Now granted, the deck has 21 equip spells, so it's not that unlikely. But still, I'll, I'll take the luck where I can get it. I mean, that is what the deck is supposed to do, after all. Um, yeah, I think literally every other equip spell would have gotten it for me. Uh, Mage Power does only 500, but that's only if it's on its own. It would not have been on its own. Alright, so Stronghold. Gadget time! I used to love this deck. 
Um, I act, well, I say that. There was a time when I thought the deck was so bad because the gadgets were small. You're gonna, you're gonna lose them. You're gonna, you know, gadget, get a gadget, and you're gonna lose yours to their bigger monster, right? That's how it works. Well, um, I mean, yeah, but you can play stuff to protect your gadgets, and, and then it works out a little bit better. If you play Magic the Gathering, they're kind of like Squadron Hawks. They're, they're pretty tiny, but they go and get themselves. Except they don't get all the copies of themselves to add to hand, just one. Just one at a time. Uh, they're sort of the predecessors to Firehand Ice Hand. You know, they thought that Firehand, I, I mean, they thought the gadgets weren't strong enough, so let's give them an upgrade. And lo th that's what we have. Here we are. So upstart first into Mage Power. So now we're looking nice and pretty. Uh, we still. We're gonna have to go on the Cyberstein plan because that's not enough from Armed Samurai. But, you know, Mage Power doesn't care whether it's an equip spell next to it or not. It just needs to be a spell, well, something in the spell and trap zone. So, uh, you know where this is going. We're gonna start setting our heavy storm and our reasoning here. Uh, unfortunately, if you can do the math quickly enough, you realize that's still not enough. Uh, but, but we're okay. 4,300 over that tiny little gadget doing its thing and uh, hit them for a little bit more, just poke them, just, just poke the bear, just a tiny bit more. 4,300, 1,100 to go. Oh, we were so close, we were so close, but we're just gonna pass it right along. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If they happen to blow up my entire field, front row and back row, I'm in trouble. Uh, but they play that in face-up attack because they're idiots. Uh, gets them a green gadget, and then they go after Cyberstein, which, to be fair, if they had limiter removal, I was dead there. But they didn't, so, you know. You know, as you do, as you do. All right, so just for safety's sake, we're going to Heavy Storm here, blow up uh, Mage Power. We're going to play Heavy Storm. There's Rush Recklessly. So they were still pretty close. They could. I was at a virtual 400 if they played the Rush Recklessly uh, on the gadget. Uh, but we still have enough. We don't even need to do this. We're just doing it. Just do it! Yeah. Yeah. If we didn't play the mask, then we would have to do it in two attacks. Um, so yeah, on to Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. It's just Nephthys. Sacred Phoenix of... <laughs> Sacred Phoenix of me attempting to roll my R's. Yay! I told you I was tired. <laughs> Alright, cool, so I get to draw, and I have a Cyberstein, we're just gonna pass. You know, that's what you do. That's what you do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, now this this is one I play more often, because uh, Pyramid Turtle can go and get Ryukoki, which messes up the Armed Samurai really hard, because it's a warrior. Ryukoki destroys warriors and spellcasters that, go to, that deal combat damage to, they are in combat with it. So even if you deal a damage, you know, it's face-up attack position, you did a damage, uh, you have a problem. So, yes, Cyber End Dragon, it should not have been. It should have been Blue Eyes Ultimate, 100%. Uh, but I messed up, and because I played it this way, uh, it uses up a little bit more time. I have to play an extra equip spell. So it's not great, I admit, it's not great. But, uh, my bet, my B, my B. We would have exact Seas if we went... Uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate, Mega Morph, Axe of Despair, because that's 9,000, 10,000. Uh, no, no, not Exaxes, but, you know, we'd be over it. Not Exaxes, what are you? J. J. Oh, J. Oh, J. Oh, J. Oh, J. Oh, it's Exaxes with Malevolent Nuzzler, right? 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 No. Because then it'd be 9,000, whatever. Okay, just ignore me. Just ignore me, really. Okay, cool. So, uh, moving right along to Cyber End Dragon. I've seen you before. Hey, buddy. Ah, machines again. Machines, machines, more machines. All the machines. Alright. I'm so tired right now. Okay, but cool, we have two monsters. So, which one are we going with? First, Heavy Storm. Play it correctly, Jay. Alright, and then we can just do... If we had Megamorph, we could do Cyberstein and OTK them right here. Uh, as it is, we can do either one. Armed Samurai or uh, Cyber Twin Dragon. Either one should get there. Uh, but we're doing it this way. And we're using every single one of our equip cards. 
Um, this is actually overkill. I, I went a little too far. Because I, I only needed three. First one kills it, and then the last one's deal 7,800, plus the trample over, and uh, they were good. But instead, well, wait a minute, it ends up taking the same number of combats, but I just used up extra time for actually playing the equip. So, uh, yeah, I still wasted time. Better go over. Now, I, I missed the split here. Don't worry, I get it in just a second. Uh, get it during the next selection. So, here I am. Hi, me. There we go. Alright, so yay, I elect to go second, actually. This is the only one where I went second in the run. And it's not just because I was feeling myself, although that might have had something to do with it. Uh, if I go first and don't do anything, if I don't have a monster to set, I can just lose. I can get OTK'd by myself. So, better to do it this way. Now, if they set a, mon a set one card, I have a pretty good idea, I think, of what it is. It's MST. Uh, but, no, no. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get Cyber Twin. And we're going to play the upstart to see if we can find a giant true nade. And a heavy storm, actually, is what comes out. So, uh, heavy storm, you think it's MST, but it was me, Dio! But it was, it's pot. So, uh, it was pot, kids. Not even once. No, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yay. All right, yeah, that's, en that's enough. We don't have to keep going. We have 4,200... Uh, and that's times two, 8,400 plus the Cyberstein. Cyberstein, get there! Yeah, so I don't know if it actually saves time to play the horn so that I only have to attack with Cyber Twin Dragon, uh, but we ended up getting there, so that's cool. And then the last one, the very last one, folks. Uh, yeah, this is versus haha -ha equals haha. -ha. It's, it's a dumb deck, it's not a real thing. I, I get to set the deck, the, the rules let you set the deck before you go in, of course. And uh, I gave them all level 7 or higher monsters, so you won't be seeing anything from them at all, period. We're just going to get to go. Now, teeny tiny problem, once again, I didn't have a monster, maybe should have reset. Uh, and I'm going to give myself one more card to get out, because I know that the other side isn't going to do anything. So if you're ever going to have one where you can't play anything, it would be this one, you know, where you have a bit of time to stall. So there's Armed Samurai, cool. So we're just going to put Mask, and Axe, and uh, Megamorph, and then we win. Well, not in that order, but okay, we got there, we got there. We got there, folks. Oh my goodness. Alright. Time of my life. It's been such a pleasure commenting this. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. Alright. Yeah. So this is, uh, 2005. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous enough I'm messing up the, uh, the movement, because of course I am. All right, and time's coming up in just a bit. Uh, this one more attack, and uh, ah, there it is, and time, 47.49. At this point, I get to do this, and just relax for a bit, and uh, really quickly, really quickly, let me take this off for a moment, so you can see, if I can show off. This is my, uh, this is my field. This is Binkei OTK, as you saw. It's a uh, three armed samurai. Sorry about the shaky hand. Uh, three cyberstein, three axe, three big bang shot, three giant chunade, a heavy storm, a horn of the unicorn, a mage power, three malevolent nuzzler, three mask of brutality, three megamorph, an MST, a pot of greed, three reasoning. Shouts to Raja. Uh, two reinforcements of the army, three stem packs, a united we stand, and two upstart goblins. Shoutouts to Patrick Hoban. And uh, that's what I was rocking. So. Uh, that's it, everybody. Take care, and uh, I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Uh,